Oh yeah, well, this is taking a while. I'll just continue to go up. I wonder how my rocket made of rockets is gonna go. Getting pretty wacky with the inventions now. I've attached some rockets to some scaffolding. It's a ramp. All right, rocket sled time. Just hovering around, going on a bit of a hunt. Hit some kids there or something. Laser car. Okay, everything's firing in the wrong direction. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Today we're just going to be doing some wacky experiments in Tears of the Kingdom. First I want to find out how high will this game actually let you fly. Remember to like and subscribe, or don't and let me cry and struggle. First things first, we have to get to the highest point in the game, which is apparently the little star island just above Lookout Skyview Tower. So I'm just going to build this nifty little hovercraft here to get me up to that point. Yeah, the island's around there. Um, somewhere. Well, this is a long flight, I guess. I guess I can edit around this. Alright, I've made it to the Star Island, which is apparently the highest point in the game. And, you know, lucky for me that it actually existed. Now I'm going to build a new type of hovercraft that'll help me ascend faster and have a bit more longevity because I'll chuck some batteries all over it. I'm just building it out of four fans and the reason I do this is because if you don't have any supplemental material like wood or any of that bullshit then it'll never delete and you can just fly for as long as your batteries exist. Alright, here's my perfect reverse helicopter thing. Let's see how high we can actually get. Up, up we go. It's genuinely impressive how far the render distance is on Nintendo Switch. I can't wait for their next console to be the Nintendo Wii 3. You can't go any further. Well, I guess that's about as high as you can get. That sure wasn't underwhelming at all. I guess I'll just... I'll just kind of die. Even falling to my death seemingly takes forever, so I guess I'll just speed this part up a bit. Alright then, let's build some weird shit that I'm sure work is intended. Let's just put those rockets there, and the base for my rocket made out of rockets is nine rockets. Well, my rocket made of rockets isn't quite as big as I would have liked it to be. Apparently you can only attach around 22 rockets to one contraption. I have to use a rocket shield just to get on the damn thing. Alright, here we go. <laughs> well, that was, you know, fucking amazing. I'm glad I'm spending hours doing this. Alrighty then, my rocket scaffolding. Which I'm just gonna, you know, skip to the end of because, <laughs> well, look at this piece of shit. Woo, awesome, what an amazing contraption. Alright, it's time for the rocket slater. I want to see how far we can fly horizontally. That, I'm gonna build an awesome ramp out of some logs. Alright, well I've built the ramp about 40 times and I've just decided to go with the first design I built, which, you know, sucks. But check out this beautiful, beautiful rocket sled. Sure, everything's gonna go to plan, just as it has in every other instance. Alright, so I had to remove some rockets from my rocket sled because the game was bitching about the whole rocket on rocket thing. Truthfully, there's just a maximum to how many materials you can use on each vehicle, but anyway, let's fly. Woo! I should have recorded my distance because I probably flew about a good, good 15 meters there. Alright, well let's change tact a bit and build something that's not just made completely out of rockets and, you know, just utterly absurd. Alright, for this invention I've just attached one or two fans for a subtle little design for a quick way to get around the desert. I've put a couple lasers on top just to deal with any would-be critters that want to fuck with me. Alright, well I have no idea what my lasers are doing, but they're sure not shooting <laughs> at the enemy. Well, it's not working as intended, but I do think it's kind of a beautiful machine. Somehow I've managed to build pretty much everything perfectly backwards, so I'll see if I can rectify that from here on out. See that lion all over there, sitting in its natural habitat? We're gonna go hunt it. But of course, we're gonna hunt it with one of my amazingly designed contraptions. Here's the base for my weapon, which is just a nice, simple car. I don't know what it is with Australians and having vocal fries in our natural cadence. Uh... 
Okay, sorry, I'll never do that again. Alright, now with my car, I've decided to differentiate from most of my usual designs, and I've covered it in lasers. Okay, so I like fucking lasers, so what, they're cool. Pew, pew. Alright, so here it is. The beauty, the majesty, the unsymmetricality. You guys must feel pretty lucky being privy to some of this amazing four-wheel driving. Alright, just, just get down the goddamn hill. Alright, well it's time to kill this aligner with my perfectly designed laser car. It's actually pretty fast, zooming about. Okay then, lasers, just, what the, what the fuck are you shooting at? Even the damn Lionel's confused, some in-game binary ones and zeros thinks I'm a goddamn dumbass. Alright, screw you game, this, this isn't my fault, I'm obviously, you know, orientationally challenged, and the game's not counting for that. I'm an ambi-turner, I can't turn left, but that's a story for another day. I'm actually, I'm actually so goddamn stupid that the Lionel is just, it's just not engaging. It's just, it's just watching me, because why, why not? <sighs> yeah, let's just run into these trees here. Oh, would you look at that? The Lionel, the Lionel finally decided it wanted to attack me. Let's do it. If I can just, if I can just get over these rocks here. Oh yeah, cool. Well, you know, that was actually the result I was hoping for. Because now I get to come back with a new car and fail in some other spectacular way. Alright, so I've basically learned nothing from the last car I designed. Ignoring that fact, this time my weapons are actually going to point in the right direction. And I'm going to add cannons instead of lasers, because I'm sure that's not going to end in any kind of catastrophe. Look at that. Beautiful. Majestic. Symmetrical. Alright, let's see how my new and improved cannon car stacks up against this lion horse. I did it. I finally hit the lionel. I, I hit it with my, with my cannons. I also blew myself up because the way I designed my car, it was pretty much impossible for that not to happen. Despite a really terrible first showing, my rocket car is actually doing much better than expected. Well, you know, until I do that, just let me quickly flip my car back around. Um, well, okay then. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna sit here in the river and, and sulk for a while. Alrighty then, it's time for car number three. And what makes this car different is the weapons are actually pointing the right way and it's not designed to destroy itself. I really, I really hope so anyway. Alright, I've used what minimal brain power that I actually possess and I'm hoping this car should actually work as intended. I keep forgetting to get rid of that stupid Goron on the front of my vehicle. Would you look at that? Power. Power. My car is actually working as intended. I've finally built something that actually works. I'm not a failure. Well, you know, I am, but not here. Just in every other aspect of my existence. My car's actually still alive. Go, destroy him, get him. There's some amazing driving on display there. I'm gonna try and stay at a distance so he keeps using his bow and doesn't just sort of, you know, blow up my car on a whim. Well, it's it's gonna do it. It's actually gonna do it. This piece of shit vehicle is gonna kill the Lionel. We did it. We killed it. It's a victory for Upfish. One victory among very many defeats, but, you know, it feels good. Feels good. Doesn't actually, that sucked and it took ages. Seeing as I've become such an expert builder now, I thought a natural progression would be robots with cannons on top of them. I'm going to build a little army that'll definitely be able to kill this liner without me having to do a thing. Alright, that's eight little automated cannon robots that should hunt down and kill any enemy they see. Alright, well, my cannons aren't doing anything, the Lionel hasn't noticed me, and I'm wasting all my battery power. Come here, you little hybrid. Come within range of my cannons. Yes, they're finally starting to shoot at him. Just recharged all my batteries, ready for this upcoming epic battle. Well, yeah, I mean, of, of course that was gonna happen. I'm pretty sure all my cannons just kind of blew themselves up. Not to be deterred, I'm gonna build a more effective robot army this time. Alright, I've got seven little robots here with lasers on their heads instead of cannons, so they don't blow themselves up this time, and some of them even have batteries attached. Okay, this time the Lionel's actually noticed me, and all my little robots are ready. They're definitely gonna kill it this time. Or not. 
You know what? I, I'm I'm done. I'm done building robots. Let's just build a perfectly balanced rocket to the stars. It's a log attached to a box covered in rockets. Like, subscribe, comment. It really helps me out, but most of all, just thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave you with this little contraption of mine. Another perfect, faultless design by Upfish Sinclair. I really hope you've enjoyed the video.